Okay guys, I'm super duper excited that finally I have started recording of the Java tutorial series for YouTube. In this first video, I'm going to tell you the course guidelines that will be helpful to follow this course and you'll understand how you can take the best out of this course. I'll upload the video tutorials on a weekly basis regularly on this particular channel. So please subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon. That will help you to get notified whenever I upload a video. You will be always connected with the course. Make this channel popular. Share the link of this channel with your friends, with the WhatsApp and Facebook groups in whatever ways you can. That will motivate me to create more and more free YouTube content on different topics. Follow the course sequentially. Follow the video lectures one after another sequentially. That is really required. Even if you feel that this particular video lecture that you are watching right now is already known to you, but still there may be some information that you may miss if you skip to the next video. So listen to the entire video. That will be helpful to understand the next subsequent videos in the series. So that's my request. Please go sequentially. Always look into the description section to get the link of the immediate next video tutorial after this that you are watching right now. Now please be an active learner. That is always required. You, This is not a classroom tutorial. You are going through by your own. So always what you need to do is to make your hand dirty in order to understand a programming language. You cannot just go theoretically in order to understand a programming language. Write the code immediately along with me. Execute the code, see the output and think how you can make it better. That's the way of learning a programming language. Always try to be practical as much as you can. Don't hesitate to download and install whatever the software's IDEs you need. If you fail to download, install or configure something, comment. There is a comment section and I'm going to create a Facebook group related to this particular course. You can always ask any help there. You can initiate a discussion uh, to understand a particular topic. So always you'll find me and the other fellow students to help you. And again, this is not a classroom lecture. You can always pause if you do not understand a particular concept. Get back. Listen again. After a couple of times, eventually you'll understand. So always follow these things. Always throw a question whenever you uh, fail to understand a concept. I'll be always there beside you to help you. Discuss about the code and the concept always in the Facebook group. I'm going to create the Facebook group and put the link there in the description section. Find the link there in the description section and send me a request to join this Facebook group that is related with this particular course. And membership will be uh, given to you and this group is going to be closed group and it will remain closed throughout there will be some rules and regulations in order to maintain the integrity and the privacy of the members okay so don't expect these things from me i'm not a native english speaker so don't expect me to pronounce english good now i'm not going to tell you the history of java in this course in this course i'm going to teach you java programming language if you are interested of learning java history then there are plenty of websites which are having really good blogs even the wikipedia content in this regard is really good so if you want me to explain why java is popular or why the popularity of java is declining or the debate python versus java then this is not the course that you're looking for in this course i'm strictly going to teach you java programming language starting from the basic up to the advanced level don't expect me to create colorful slides or animations in order to make you understand some concept. I know how to make you understand a concept because I'm teaching this Java programming for 20 long years and I know exactly how to make you understand a particular tough concept. Okay, I'll be doing a lots of coding side by side. I'll be explaining them using the digital pen. I'll draw the images on the screen and I'll make you understand uh, in the best possible way. So have faith on me, you'll understand eventually. Now. I'm not going to help you on your school assignments. If you have some school assignments that you need to submit, please do not request me to help you to solve your school assignments or to complete your school assignments. I'm not going to help you on your online exams either. Always expect me to create comprehensive contents on Java programming. Okay, explanation of the concepts from the basic to the advanced level. Yes, I'll do that. I'll do that for you. Lots of coding examples that I'll do on the screen, explaining them side by side, drawing the images, memory diagrams and everything. Assignments, yes, I'll be giving them in the Facebook group time to time. And if you find any, uh, any trouble doing the assignments, you can always seek help there. 
Now reading materials, so yes, of course you need some reading material, I understand that. So the best one is the Oracle tutorial that is freely available on the web. I'll put the link of that Oracle tutorial at the description section, find that there. And that's the best one, really that's the best one, but it's a big one. There, is, there are chances that you may lost in that tutorial. The trails are so many that uh, there, are, there are chances that you'll be lost uh, while you're going through the tutorial, but eventually you'll be habituated how to read that. Okay, let me show you that. Open up your favorite search engine. I'll use Google. And then in a Google search box, just type Oracle Java tutorial. And that's it. It's going to take you the first link. First link is the link that we are looking for and it's going to take you to the Oracle tutorial, Java tutorial. And I'll recommend you to go through this first section, getting started. And there are other sections as well. And there will be trails that you can follow to get a particular concept entirely. There are examples, explanations, everything. So this is the best tutorial that you can have in order to learn Java. Even you can download this entire tutorial on your hard drive and you can see offline. Now, if you're looking for a book, then this Head First Java by Cathy Sierra would be the best choice. At very first glance, you'll find that this book is just like a comic strip. Believe me, those images in that book are really helpful to understand the core concept, the basic concepts of Java programming. Go through line by line, page by page, image by image of this book in order to understand Java better. Your fundamental will be really concrete. Now, there are many, many blogs, tutorials across the web. Even there are far better video tutorials on YouTube than what I'm going to do. So you can watch any of them. You can go through any of the web web's resources that are available across the web in order to understand Java programming concept. So find the ways, whatever uh, the ways you are comfortable with, follow that in order to in order to learn what you want to learn. Okay, who can join this course? I expect you to have some basic programming knowledge. If you have basic programming experience, then you are welcome to join this course. I expect you to understand what is a variable, what is a data type, what is a loop, or what is if else statements in order to branch. So these are the basic things that you may need in order to follow the video tutorials. Although I'll try to explain each and every step there. Now, you do not need to know the object-oriented programming concept. I'm going to explain them from the grounds up. Okay, the system that you'll need to follow this course, you can use either of Windows, Mac, Linux, or Unix operating system on your machine. But you'll need a machine with at least two gigahertz of CPU and two GB of RAM, that's required. I'll show you how to download, install Java and how to configure the path on Windows operating system. I'll give you the link to configure Java on other operating systems as well in the description section. Now, I'll use the Eclipse IDE, but you are free to choose any IDE in order to write your Java program and to execute your Java program. But since Eclipse is the industry standard, so I'm going to use Eclipse in this particular tutorial series. But I'll show you how to write a Java program using simple notepad or any other text editor and how to compile and execute that Java program from terminal that I'll show you as well. And you can use, as I said, any IDE of your choice. See you in the next tutorial where I'm going to explain why Java is called platform independent. And that's the most important question that you may face in any Java interview. Okay, join me in the next tutorial. Subscribe this channel and have fun learning Java programming language with me. Thank you for watching.